Hello there, my name's Dan Lemaitre, uh, and welcome to another video. Um, you may remember I did a video recently of me going to the NEC in Birmingham. Um, when I was there, we got a few products, um, including the Backman Emily, which I'll be talking about today. Um, when I was there, it was actually very interesting. There was a stall there, at Hornby, one as there is every year, showing all the new Thomas products. Um, and I've also just pre-ordered the uh, 70th anniversary Thomas, which is due on the 14th of January next year. Uh, when I was there, there was a lot of children, so I decided to tell a few uh, railway jokes. Like, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine was naughty, so he was told his career was on the line. And, um, the back controller was not chuffed. Uh, then all the parents started coming over. I said, uh, I think I've gone a bit off the rails here, so I'm going to go. Uh, another joke told, uh, one that wasn't quite uh, Thomas, was, uh, why do elephants have big ears? The answer? because Noddy wouldn't pay the ransom. Anyway, that's enough jokes for the time being. Uh, this is a review on the Backman Emily. And so here we have the uh, Backman Emily out of the box. Um, you may remember when I did my Hornby Emily review that I told you that it wasn't always the best runner until I added lead in the tender to make it a bit heavier. Um, and when it did that, the wheels used there used to be a lot of wheel spin. Um, on this one, you do get some wheel spin when it first starts, but when it's on the move, it's all right. Um, I think it's down to the side rods. Um, this model is actually, I think, looking-wise, a lot better than the uh, Hornby Emily, um, purely because it actually looks like what Emily looks like, um, and all the colours are correct. Um, apart from just a bit there on the tender, um, if I show you the tender there, that should actually be black, but, I mean, that's my only real criticism. I mean, look around the rest of the um, tender, and I mean, those wheels look metal, but they're actually plastic, but they, again, they're, they're really, it's all really well detailed. Um, the last model I actually saw that was this detailed of an Emily was actually the Ertl one, which I have. Um, so I say it's absolutely superb. And then, um, if we have a look at the front half of Emily. Um, like her um, Hornby model, it used the face from Series 8. Um, and she looked also, when Emily was first introduced in Series 7, she had bronze buffers. And from Series 8 onwards, she had um, silver ones. Um, from Series 11 onwards, her buffer housings, which are these black bits that here, um, painted red, and they've been made red, red ever since. However, they've been black on the tender. Um, and again... <sighs> The detail on this model is absolutely uh, spot on. Uh, so, and the only criticism I have was B A, like I said, that bit on the tender at the back, it should be black, and also the fact that if you wanted to add a crew, um, you couldn't because of that big green bit. I um, mean, it's the same on the back of the Donald and Douglas models, which I spoke about before. Um, Emily, as you know, was the first female tender engine to be introduced. Um, now there's a few other tender engines that are female. Um, and this model does run really well indeed, um, as I said, um, and I certainly recommend if you haven't got it, you get it. Um, it's probably going to be my shortest review ever, because like I said, it's just hard, there's not really much to fault on really, uh, on this model overall. The box is really good on the um, Backman Emily, and um, this is the old style box, different to the other boxes that my other ones came in. Um, and as you can see, I've got one of Emily's uh, coaches, um, I do intend to get some more of Emily's coaches. Um, so, and the only thing that I would be worried about is the little label on the top of the box, as I discussed in the uh, Warley video that I did. Um, but other than that, so this is a really good model. Packaging I'd like to add is also really good because, like the underground Ernie engines, um, you don't have to destroy the box like you do the other Thomas engines, where you're left with just a shell. Um, literally, all you have to do is cut around the sides, uh, and you can take it apart, and then. You can very easily put it back together again. Um, and it's a shame the other Thomas engine's not like this really. So the packaging um, is really, really good indeed. Um, and the best one on any of the Thomas engines uh, so far that I've reviewed in the Batman range. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really good model. Um, and I'd definitely give this one a 10 out of 10. Um, it's funny actually, all my other Batman ones I have given a 10 out of 10. I've tried to be as fair and as firm as possible. But the Batman models that we've reviewed so far, apart from um, Spencer, I mean, I don't have Spencer in the Batman range anyway, um, but are so much better than the um, 
Hornby ones, um, it's unbelievable. But I say I think Spencer's better in the Hornby than he is in the back one. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video. Um, and if you've got any questions to ask about this model, um, again, please feel free to ask. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.